Hey guys, I'm Tyler, and today I'm going to show you my uh, little uh, Wiimote smart board. Now to start off, what I had to do was create this little infrared pen. What I just did is just took an old marker and gutted it out, drilled a hole here, and then started wiring everything. What we have here is an end-sized battery, hooked up to a switch, infrared LED, and right back. Um, all these parts you can find at Radio Shack, and it's really pretty inexpensive. I got all all this equipment for about uh, about ten bucks. The switch and the light alone are probably a dollar. But anyway, uh, the Wiimote uh, has a little infrared camera on the front, so when I shine this infrared light along the TV, the Wiimote picks it up. So, and I have this uh, program by. Uh, Jai Lee, who has, was able to manipulate the input from the Wiimote to make it into a cursor. Alright, now the Wiimote is connected to the Wii through a, a Bluetooth dongle that's installed inside the Wii. I have my own Bluetooth dongle installed on my computer, so what I'm going to do is hook up the Wiimote and connect it through a third-party Bluetooth software called Blue Celio. Now, for what next we gotta, what we gotta do next is align the Wiimote just right so that it's far back enough to get a good angle but not too far back too far back to get a bad resolution. Now to start up the once we get everything the Wiimote set up, just press A after uh, Giant Lee's whiteboard software is set up. Press A and that brings up the calibration screen. Where you do your normal point and click calibration. Targets in the corner. And now the pen is calibrated. And now we can begin doing whatever we want, such as. Oops. No. We can try. And also manipulate all of our windows however we want. This is how you do it, Sam. That's how you do it. And that's how we get the Weavo to work as a smartphone. 